none other than the president of the Kennedy Center. We have Deborah Rudder. Let's welcome Deborah Rudder right here. Deborah. Hi, how are you? Oh my this gosh. Great. How it's great. How fun to see you here. Oh my, are you kidding me? Look, at, this is amazing. I know. It's gorgeous here. This is amazing. Now look, you are an incredible executive that has been in performing arts and music and, and so many things for so long. What does it feel like to be in charge of this beautiful institution? It would be sort of obvious to say it's inspiring, it's right. awesome, it's exciting, it's exhausting, <laughs> but mostly it's just fun. On a daily basis, we get to do everything here. And the best new thing that we do here is comedy. Isn't that incredible? It's fantastic, and Capital One yeah. is the firm that really inspired us to do it. John Witter, who's in charge here in Washington, D.C., is the guy who said, we have to do more, and we are having so much fun with it. And what did that, for a second, for a second let's talk about that, because that's a five-year, mm -hmm. my understanding is $5 million, people, five-year, $5 million gift. Right. What did that mean for, for you and, and the possibilities? It gave us the freedom to experiment, to explore, to invite all the great uh, artists, comedians, uh, to come to the Kennedy Center, to come to Washington, D.C., and explore their art. And they are having so much fun. Every time they walk onto that stage, they say, I'm at the Kennedy Center. <laughs> this is Washington, D.C. And they love it here. Yeah, they do. Now, look, uh, we, we love everything that you're doing because I understand you are managing so much. You're managing performances, theaters, even uh, sym symphony orchestras that, you, that are affiliated right. with you guys. So you're managing uh, quite a bit. But you're used to this stuff. If you could, in my research, I've done my homework. He's in my done his research. Homework. That's amazing. You've done your homework. <laughs> well, I know that you can, I know that you play the piano and violin, and my son plays the piano, so we're a oh, musical good. family. Good. Little note, little shout out to my grandmother, who was the co-founder of the Baltimore School of the Arts. Thank you very much. Yep. We need more of your grandmother <laughs> in our world. <laughs> so my point is, you actually did ver something very clever and creative. You wrote your first letter to try to get your very first job in German. Explain a little bit why you did this and where you ended up landing because of it. Well, I really, really, really wanted this job, and I knew that the guy who was going to hire me had as his first language German. And I had studied German in school. I thought the way he will pay attention to me first is if I write to him in German. Yeah. So I hand wrote, because my typing skills was not so good, <laughs> in German, and there was no autocorrect at that time, let's right, just say. Right. <laughs> so I hand wrote my letter, and lo and behold, it got me a job in uh, orchestra management at the Los Angeles Philharmonic. I mean, not just any Philharmonic, the Los Angeles Philharmonic. Yep. Deborah, this is an amazing Thank night. You. Kudos to you. Thank Kudos you. to your team. Your team has been phenomenal that I've been working with Great. already. So I'm excited for the rest of the well, evening. You are a real pro, Mario. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much. What's your biggest, what's your favorite thing that you're looking forward to tonight before I let you go? Well, gosh, that's hard to say. David Letterman, of course, yeah. probably. Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel, too. Yeah. Jane Curtin. Oh, yeah. my God, she is yeah. fantastic. And she's coming up right now. And so you are brilliant with the right segues. Okay, <laughs> you're Thank awesome. You. Thank, Thank you so much, Deborah. Enjoy Bye. the rest of your night. Thank you.